Man, I don't know. And we, we it was kind of weird for us because at the end of it, we felt a little disrespected. Uh, me and Gabe got it. Got into it. This a is a bit. story for a later time. <laughs> I've heard the story. That's we're all hey, everything's right fine now. We're, we're all full now. now. Yeah. yeah, but but that that definitely. Was I really like Gabe. I did. I had him here. Yeah. It was one of my favorite ones I've done actually. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we need to tell the story. I was scared. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. We're all shooting. We're all shooting hoops at a. At a it was it an evolve show? Yeah, it was. It was our last weekend, obviously. Well, we didn't realize <laughs> it was our last weekend, but it kind of felt like it was leading towards that anyway. Because we were in New Japan now. We just felt disrespected. Weren't we, you guys win a lot of tag champs too at that point? Probably. <laughs> yeah, like no, this, no, I don't think. Yeah, but, I don't think. Yeah, but Matt hasn't said it. This was building up. Like we, yeah, we cut them a deal. We were working for pennies there. Yeah, this was the cheapest for anybody. We, but, <laughs> It was literally we're good for pennies. Well, oh, you know, we're still we're good for several hundred. Of course, dollars. Uh, of course. maybe, yeah. Like it was, it was pretty low. Still, it was the low end of. Let's just not get that. crazy. But at the same time, they were booking me alone when he was gone. They, like, yeah, they were baby. good. So they, they helped us out. They're still good for us, yep. but like, yep. no. But, but they sorry. they realized that they were getting us for a good good deal at uh, that point. But anyway, like. Some nights we wouldn't even have hotel rooms. Like they, they expected us to go straight from the match to the airport. Isn't this where that's the weekend the Indie Taker was born? Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, but that happened a lot. Like the, uh, I remember Sal would be like, "You need a hotel room," or uh, like the show ended. Usually the wrestlers go straight to the airport. I was like, "What? Yeah. Why?" Or like they, I, I, I want to take without a Without telling us, we would we would show up the last day of the tour where you get paid, and they would be like. Okay, what's your PayPal address? I'm like, no, man, I need cash. It takes me three to four days to get that. Yeah. Like stuff like that. So every show stuff is building, got, building, building. Every weekend building. we got paid PayPal, which which is awful because now it's like we're not gonna. Uh, hey, honey, uh, I think I'm gonna have money in my bank in four days right. instead of here's the cash I made right. for our family to provide. You know what I mean? So that stuff built up to what happened in the last. He was week. getting hotter and he was getting. Anyway, the, I think it was day <laughs> what three. He's a hot head. No. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, Come on. Yeah, I don't think I would so. Love for to talk about that other story. But for a good <laughs> reason, I am. No, the only times I, everyone will. He has good reason when he gets hot. No, I agree. The times that I'm hot is because I'm standing up for the boys or for, for us. <laughs> All right, well, let's tell the story. Uh, we were playing playing little basketball. Uh, <laughs> well, little, little bit of turn it to MVP. A little bit of hoops at a show. Uh, I think it was day two of a. Triple shot in Florida, I think. I it, it was, it was. Because I remember I was driving back from a show yeah. in Quebec City. Yeah. Yeah. You guys told me the story, and yeah. we still had another uh, show the next day. Oh, yeah, and then we kind of had it out again the next so day. So we, we, we're very professional. We show up on time. We show up usually even before call time. Two, yeah, we showed up yeah, three or four hours before the show. Uh, and we were literally, what, the few that were there yeah. at that time. Like here so, was there. And there's a basketball there. court and everyone knows I'm a big basketball player. Yeah, he's always going to play. He's always I love basketball, basketball enthusiast. Yeah, I am. He is. And I love playing. So I, I'm like naturally, okay, I'm going to play some basketball. We're here early, so I'm going to play. So I got, Matt wants to play. We get him to play. Uh, Chris, oh, when we're together, forget it. Chris Hero wants to play. Uh, <laughs> we're good together. Uh, How come we never play basketball, guys? Uh, we you never play? see a court? No, man. Uh, I would never. I would, no <laughs> way. Idiot. It's like it sounds uh, way too hard. The bravados want to play. We get them. In They're there. good too. So there's like it's like five on five. I'd say. So we're just having a great time. This Usually is the locker rooms are serious. This is the funnest the roster has ever had. We've had rabbit blast before a show. Laughing. We're just yeah. having a blast, having a uh -huh. having a basketball party. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gabe uh, comes up to us in the middle of it. He's like, "You guys got to end this." Yeah, he, he wrapped this up. We're like, we're like okay. "This is literally the last game yeah. we're playing. We're playing for thirty minutes, forty minutes. We're still three hours before even even bell or even maybe uh, two hours before bell. Two, two, yeah, and maybe, half. maybe. So we're this is our last game. We made it clear. We're okay. This is it. Uh, last there's point. only a last few. Shot. But at this point, we're all, we're all blown up. Super no competitive one, though, so nobody's no, scoring. Yeah, like, yeah. The defense is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting into it, you know, so no one could score. And there's literally, what, two points left to, Yeah, and this to is the most insane thing. Gabe keeps saying, like, is it over yet? We're, this, it's almost it's over. It's We're still last play. We swear. Finally, like, almost like it's at the buzzer. Like, Nick crosses some guy over. Yeah. I don't remember boom, who. Boom, 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 Shoots boom, it up. Boom. The ball goes through the hoop. Yeah. And as soon as the ball goes through, you hear Gabe go, Enough of this! Grabs the basketball, <laughs> throws it. Bobby Knight Gabe, style. Bobby Gabe, Knight. By the way, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Gabe, by the way, is... Uh, He's known for his tantrums dude, when he gets mad. But dude, it was so crazy because as soon as the ball went through the hoop, it was like it was like he was yelling at the buzzer. Yeah. At the buzzer, but instead of that, it was like that's enough. And I was like, so I thought he was like 
we're watching the game. I was like, oh, he timed that perfect. Like, oh, yeah, we're done now. Baby. I thought it was a rip, though. He grabbed we all thought it was and then he started cutting a promo on all of everybody us. in front of everybody. Too. All like, of us. Yeah. All the boys are showing up, screaming, so, yelling. I don't pay you guys to play basketball. I pay you guys to wrestle. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. Still. Fair enough. Fair, n- it's the way you said enough, that, but we're we're two to three hours before even the show. Okay. And we're and already I, all this stuff has happened. And we're already kind of like, you know, yeah. like, and no one's saying it's anything. Coming to head, like, so I'm like, all right, well, it's time for Indy Taker to to step in and <laughs> and defend the boys. But he I'm like, the board, yeah. I'm he like, like, oh, he's like, well, well, he wrote it's it's crazy. He's in labor right now. I was well. six feet <laughs> under at that point. And now I'm free. <laughs> I grab my hand goes through the ground, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I'm like, oh wait a minute, Gabe, yeah. hold on, you are screaming at me, him, all of these guys. We're here three hours before the show, Gabe. I was like, your champ's not even here yet. There's some guys not even here yet. You're screaming at us. Well, Gabe's argument is I feel disrespected. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So he had his argument. I was like, this was the last game. We told you. He's all, no, it wasn't. Dude, I told you a half hour ago. I don't know. Where we we swear to you, it was our last game. But he's he's still screaming. Back and forth. Hot so now it. I'm getting hot. They're each other's faces. At this point. And I'm like, you know what? You're disrespecting me. This is starting to piss me off, actually. Yeah. I was, I'm here three hours before the show. Four days ago, I was at the Tokyo Dome in front of 40,000 people. That's a shoot line. And I was at the show two hours before the show, and no one gave me crap because that was call time. I'm here three hours before the show, and there's 100 people here. I feel disrespected. Yeah, and Nick's like, we're already cutting you a deal. Yeah. We're doing this. And then Gabe's like, you know what? You guys are cutting me a deal. And he started kind of calm down a little bit more. They but it, it got, there's a lot more that I said yeah. that I won't throw in. That's fine. But we were, we were both... Yelling at Bickering. each other. I get in the, the middle, middle. Of it. and I said, "Guys, let's just chill out. Like we have a wrestling show to do. This is fake. Whatever." Really, like, I was more of the cool calm. <laughs> this guy's going. But down. his his point was, I want you guys to cut a promo. Matt Saul, we could cut a promo. Like, we'll, we'll do it, it right now. Like, we'll do it one take. What he wants to say. He's like, "Well, I don't know." And then we went and cut it. I and said, we okay, cut it, and it like, took one minute. So like after he realized, like he kind of flipped out for no reason. He went around. Nick even asked him, "Dude, I think you have to apologize." Yeah. To that, it was and he was right. cool, and he, he went did. around. Yeah, and he, he did. Around. And he said, "Sorry, Sorry it's fun now." He's been overly passionate many times. But, I've yeah, seen yeah. him. So the thing is, no, but I don't think anybody's ever called him on. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. Nobody at that point had stood up to him, and I think it was humbling for him. And because he realized, did like, he take her turn the lights? Of on? course. 